What's up you guys? Mike Sites back here again with another video and this time I'm going to show you Final Cut Pro users out there how to properly install your Final Cut Pro plugins. And guess what? I get a lot of questions asking me how to do this and you're asking yourself how can something so easy be so difficult? Well I'm going to tell you why. It's just because you don't have someone who's gonna make it easy for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you the correct way on how to install Final Cut Pro plugins. And you won't have an issue with that. You know why? Because you're watching this video. So after the intro, baby, let's go. Okay, as you can see, I'm running Mac OS Monterey. Now the version that I have, if I go to my About This Mac will be version 12.3. You can see that very clearly here as I'm indicating right now. Let me just close that out and show you what version of Final Cut Pro that I'm using right now. And you can see down at my dock that I am opening Final Cut Pro to reveal that I am currently using 10.5.4. Now I am not currently defaulted to any specific library, but I wanted to show you exactly what titles and what transitions that I'm running right now. They're the basic titles and transitions that you get when you install Final Cut Pro 10.5.4. So now that I've shown you that, let me tell you the one most first important important step that you need to do before you install any plugins and that is to quit Final Cut Pro and the keyboard shortcut to quit will be command Q. Now if you look on my desktop you will see that I already have some titles and transitions as plugins and if I open one of these folders you'll see that they contain quite a few titles and transitions that I am going to attempt or make an attempt to install on my Final Cut Pro right now. And if you're wondering where I got these plugins and what exactly they look like, what do they do? Well, I'll have a link in the description so you guys will be able to go check them out, have some samples, okay? But for now, I just want to show you exactly how to install them once you get them. And speaking of that, the next critical step, which is step two, is to make sure that the plugins that you're getting are compatible with the version of the Final Cut Pro that you're running on your system, okay? Now let's go to applications and look for the Final Cut Pro icon. Now, now you see what I'm doing here? I am searching for my Final Cut Pro in my applications folder and there it is. And if you can't see it, then I'm going to shake it around a little bit so you'll know exactly what I'm clicking on. Okay, so what I want to do right now is to take these folders and put them into this application. How do I do that? Well, that's simple. Right click and then what you're looking for is show package contents. It's just the second one down from open. Do you see that? I'm highlighting it. So you want to click on show package contents and then the folders are going to start appearing. The first one that's up is contents. Now this is usually the first folder that you're going to see when you go into show package contents. What you need to do here is just click on it. Okay. That's going to open your second set of folders. And as you look through them, you're going to see one that makes sense. It's called plugins. Click on it. Once you click on the plugins folder, the next folder that you're going to be looking for is a folder that is called media providers. You see, I'm shaking it around. So that way you guys know exactly what it looks like. Now click on this folder now, and that will take you to another folder that's called motion effect FXP. Click on that folder. And the next folder that's going to appear is going to be your contents folder. Click on that one. Now, once you click on that, you're going to be looking for the resources folder. And this all may seem a little redundant, but there's a reason why all of this is happening. So click on the resources folder and that will take you into a folder where you'll be looking for what's called templates. Now there are two templates folders here, but the one you want is the only one that says templates. Once you click on that, you will now be in the area where you'll see your effects, generators, your titles, and your transitions. And these folders are where we're going to be copying and pasting all of those titles and transitions into. So let's go back all the way to the applications where you had the folder. I'm going to show you a very quick and easy method that I set up so I could recognize each and every folder as I'm installing my plugins. Now, the contents folder was the first one, right? Right click on it and you will see that you can assign a little color to the contents folders title. The next folder is the plugins folder and you can see if I just right click I can assign that with the same color and all of this is going to come by memory. Once you've been doing this long enough you don't even think about it. You know exactly where you need to go and so on and so forth for all of the other folders that you can just assign this little color dot to them and once I'm finished with this let me speed this up now so I can show you exactly how fast I can whiz through each and every time I need to install plugins into Final Cut Pro. So I'm 
I'm going to close everything out now and go back to my applications folder so I can show you exactly how fast I can access these folders now that I've put those little color dots on the beginning of them. Do you see that one there? I will have to do is just click on that one. Then I go to the color dot here, click on that. Then I click on that one. And then I click on that one. And then I click on that folder. And then I click on that folder. And then I click on that folder. And voila! Fast and easy, exactly where I need to be so I can copy all of my transitions, my titles, into these areas, okay? So now the next step is for me to determine exactly what is it that's going to be copied and pasted into those areas that we were just at. And the way I can explain this to you is that you're trying to copy and paste a group of folders which have many, many folders and files in them, not the one folder that's sitting on your desktop. And the reason for this is because these groups of folders that have titles or transitions in them, the folders themselves themselves have an extension and that extension is called dot localize. So what you want to do is copy and paste all of these folders and I already know that some of you are going to just select them all and drag them over but you don't want to do that. You want to retain the original versions and you see that I was very clever because I kept my destination folders on my desktop and all I needed to do was just right click and paste all of those 17 folders into my destination folder. Now you notice how I'm not doing anything until I see that all of them have been completed because if you close any of these folders well you're only going to be copying and pasting half of the plugins you don't want to do that so just be patient and wait for them all to complete now I want to install my transitions right so all I need to do is just hit that little back button to go back to my destinations folder and then my transitions folder I can see it there on my desktop so I'm going to go and open up the transitions folder right now to see what's in there and here it is I've got quite a few of them and I know that all of these folders have the dot localized extension. I'm just going to copy them, go back to my other folder on my desktop. I've just closed that one out because I, I won't need it anymore. Open up my transitions folder and I can just simply right click and all I have to do is just to select paste eight items in here. That's how many there were. And I am now successfully installing transitions into my Final Cut Pro. Can you believe that? Now, once everything is all said and done, all you have to do is to close everything out and I can then also delete the folders that are on my desktop. I won't need those because I already have saved copies of them already. So I can just go and put them down in the trash. I've got them already saved somewhere else. So here it is, the moment that we've all been waiting for as I click on my Final Cut Pro and reopen it because it was closed previously before. At least that's what I told you guys to do, right? Do you remember? So reopen Final Cut Pro now and it will load all of the titles and the transitions that you just installed. And I guess telling you about this is not really worth anything, right? But it's better if I just show you. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my titles so you can see that I have the same exact exact titles that were defaulted when I installed Final Cut Pro, but if I keep scrolling even more, you will see that there are just a ton of titles that I have in here that I can use, and all of them will give me a preview of what they actually look like before I actually drag them onto my timeline, okay? Now, this is the same exact thing for the transitions. If I go over to my right, you will see that I can now scroll through my transitions. Now, all of the default items are still here, but if I scroll through, not only do I see some added installed effects, which were not there before, but I also have quite a few transitions which were installed successfully because I was able to do it the appropriate way. Now, it's important to keep something in mind. If you do not see all of these newly installed plugins, then the logical conclusion is that you have placed them in the wrong folder. Now, just one final note before I let you guys go, okay? I do have a previous video that I've done on this procedure, which is basically the same procedure, but it will give you more detailed information in regard to the files and also how you go about creating a dot localized folder so Final Cut Pro will recognize those titles and transitions and effects and anything else that you have to do. So with that, if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and post them down below and I will do my best either to get back to you or to answer any questions that you may have, all right? You guys have fun making videos, all right? I'm out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this video for you on the installation of the Final Cut Pro plugins. I hope this video was helpful and you know something? If you followed my directions, you won't have any problems with installing Final Cut Pro plugins ever again, right? Am I right? So, what do we always say? 
We live every day, laugh and learn, right? You guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? And give me a like if you want to also, okay? Until then, peace. I'll see you on the next one.